In this video, it's going to be a tutorial showing you how to use Photopea, a free web-based software that can be used to edit photos. In this case, we're going to use it because it has some layering options and we can draw right on a photo and then get rid of the photo and then take a look at the contour drawing that we've created, which can be translated into wire. So you can use this to understand how to trace a celebrity face for our little challenge. First, you're going to need to find a picture that you want to use, and then you're going to need to open it um, from your computer. I chose this picture from Lady of Lady Gaga. I chose this picture because it is not cropped in any way, shape, or form um, for the head. Like the head is completely in the frame, and I can use it for my wire drawing. I would probably recommend a frontal view of a face. I think that's a little easier to translate, but um, I'm going to go ahead and try try my uh, contour line with this. The first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to create a new layer because we don't want to draw right on the background because later we want to get rid of that background. So we want to create this invisible layer that we're going to draw on. I'm going to use my pencil tool, which you might need to find it under your brush tool. So I'm going to click and hold and select my pencil tool. You can also change the color of your pencil if you like the color of your ink. So I'm clicking on this little color picker. Um, I think blue will work well for this. Um, obviously I have different colored wires so you can try different colors and see how that might look. Um, you can also change the size of your um, pencil tool and you can do that. at the very top of your screen here. Here I'm at four pixels. I can go ahead and I can change the size of that if I want that a little wider or not. Um, so now I'm ready to start drawing. I, as you know, with blind contour, it's really important to try to, well, this is pure contour, or contour um, so we are gonna be looking at our picture, but it's good, you know that this is gonna be a wire piece, so you'll wanna start somewhere um, in a location that you know you can come back to and finish there because what I want you to do is as you're drawing I don't want you to stop I want you to keep drawing as if you were creating this with wire and you needed to um, secure the pieces the ends and know where to go to create um, the form to create the shapes, to create the lines, to connect the lines so that you are not um, having to add more contour than need be. So with this, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go in, because remember it's okay to create some lines that are not necessarily there because when you're working in wire, you are going to need to do this continuously. So you will not be able to necessarily finish. Now, if I'm using multiple wires, I might have to pick up and continue, but this would have to be connected somehow. You'll see it when it comes time to doing the wire drawing, because right now I'm gonna have an issue where my head is not gonna be connected. So I'm gonna either have to go back in and figure that out. And maybe use some of these shadows to create some definition and support of the neck and shoulders. And then I can finish here. But you'll see what's disappearing when I hit this. So I've lost this entire forehead piece. It may work out okay. It may not be a problem. But this is what I would translate into wire then. So again, what I did is I picked a picture from the internet. I used my pencil tool to create the contours, trace the contours of the face. And then 
that was there in blue. And then I went ahead and I erased the background just by hiding it. And then here is here is the drawing that I may translate into wire. So at this point, it would be beneficial to save this image. Uh, we can do a file export as JPEG. We can save this as a JPEG image. And we could save that um, right to our, hi Binks, that's my cat saying hi, he wants you to save this. Um, you'll see that it'll create a white background, which is fine. And then I'm gonna save that, that'll go right to my downloads, okay? And then what I would do is I would put both of these images um, in your drive so that you can print them and work from them because you might wanna go back and retrace your celebrity face or your image or whatever um, subject matter you're using and reference it as you work.